Yo guys, welcome to another uh, gameplay. Today we're starting a new game. We're starting with Minecraft Dungeons. I've been looking forward to it. Um, it came out yesterday, but I wasn't able to download it because I think the servers got like way too much um, activity, so I wasn't able to download the game actually. But today it went perfectly, so here we are. Um, yeah, I hope you will like this game. Uh, yeah, let's jump straight into it. I will turn down the volume when I can. Okay, it was see. a time of great adventure and danger. Shunned by his kin, an Illager wanders the land, seeking a new home. But all he found was hatred. Driven by rage against those who wronged him, he wandered blind to whatever end. Until at long last, the Illager found something that would change him forever. The Orb of Dominance. Corrupted by evil, driven by vengeance, the Arch Illager made all bow before him. And if they did not bow, they would fall. The Illagers raided the land. Who would have the valor, the purity of heart, to stand against the Arch Illagers' reign of terror? Well, not that one. Maybe you. All right, that was pretty cool. <clears throat> so, like I said, I will turn down the volume once I can. Um, but for now, let's make a character. Access those? Yeah, I can. So I've bought the Hero Edition, which which will come with two DLC packs once they release. Uh, I guess I'll go with this guy. It looks the coolest, I'd say. Um, left two. Audio. Okay, that's already a lot better. Just full screen. Um, Keybinds. Left, right, items, healing. <coughs> e is heal. Root player, I don't know what that means. Forward roll space, directional ROM. Thumb, mouse button, okay. Uh, teleports. So what are the moving keys? Action roll, teleport. Alright, shouldn't be too hard. Okay. 
Okay, for now I probably won't be playing online. Maybe I will do so in the future. I can't play offline. Alright, let's start. The village is burning. No doubt this is the work of the evil Arch Illager and his minions. They sweep across the land like a ravenous scourge, subjugating or destroying all in their path. This is a time for heroes like yourself. Make haste. The villagers have need of you. So I wonder if there are less monsters since I'm playing solo? I guess so. Hopefully at least, otherwise it wouldn't be fair. So, how do I... So you move by clicking. Okay. Part of the game already. Sword is effective in close combat, use it to defeat zombies. So, does he attack them automatically? Check this way first. That was easy. Maybe turn down the volume a little bit more. So I have to kill that. Wait, what? So what did it say? Oh. I tried to shoot him with my bow first, but it didn't work. Okay, let's continue. This game is pretty, huh? There's a lot of colors. Oh no, now I'm running all of a sudden. I should have like a hero cape, it should come with the game, but don't have it on yet, maybe I'll still receive it since I I have the character and it's DLC, so maybe I'll get it after this quest. Okay, easy enough so far. So now I have like... 115 arrows. Should last a while, I'd say. So now all of a sudden I can't keep dodging. It's like a regenerating thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Is 
says it. Easy. I'll level up. Select an item. So now I can like upgrade them. But I'm guessing it's not really worth to upgrade these weapons. I'll probably get like a new one. Firework arrow. Damn, didn't know the game had this. That's a fun surprise. Do I really have to use it? So how do I get there? like on an island. Well, that's a waste. Oh, I still have some. So I keep having this. Maybe for this level only. So why is that there? <coughs> Guessing I can't grab that. No gems, that's it. Why are these blocks dirt? So I can swim. Okay, <coughs> we'll just follow the roads. Nothing here. There must be something up here, right? It's such a big area. Can't get up here for some reason. A sheep? Oh, so this is still part of it. It's quite a big area. There. Can't go in there. Nope. Nope, nothing there. Well, that's quite useless. You were too late oh, okay. to rescue the villagers, but don't fret. They're still out there somewhere waiting for a hero to find them. I'll find them. Oh. Fishing rods. Is it a weapon? Pulls the closest mob in range to your position, briefly stunning the enemy. Might be useful when you're getting swarmed. No, I want to check this area. So is there anything over here? Oh, this, this is the area I came from, isn't it? So the main base is... No, this is not that area. Well, well, yes, yes, yes. It is this area. So where is... Can't go back. Now I can get up here. It's not really a point in doing that. Okay, some pigs here. So what's in here? 
This is my house. This is quite nice. So there's not really anything you can do here, or not yet. Still a nice feature. But we probably won't be going back there if there's nothing to do. Okay. So we did that one. So that's an artifact. <coughs> okay, different difficulties. So this is the next mission then. Alright, why not? We'll go straight into it. By the so many. Illager's decree, all free folk are now enemies of the Illager Empire. Somewhere in these woods, a caravan is transporting villager prisoners to labor in far off lands. Find the caravan and stop the Illagers, or there's no telling what dreadful doom will befall our villager friends. It's not like they're going to eat him. Unless they're cannibals, but... Well, there are zombies, so they might eat him. Damn, he was quite strong. So let's check. This is already a better weapon. I will definitely forget about these items I have right now. It seems like I keep them. My healing is wasted, but no matter. Don't really need it at the moment. While it's so easy, I can see it's being very easy to run past certain kind of attack boosts. Um, I'll just smack him like a meter away. Something over here. Oh, coins. Luckily, right before my tech boost ran out. <coughs> okay then. Look, it's a sneaky pod over here. So you can walk in the water. So many. They're quite easy to kill. They're like one shot, so not a big problem. Even though they got me to half health, but there was an apple over there, so I can use it. So how do I throw this TNT? Alright, we freed one guy. It's pointing upwards, but we'll check this area first then. I 
Is there a point in killing that cow? It didn't give me anything. Okay, gems, that's nice. Ooh, was, was that a secret one or...? Alright, that's good. not fair. What's in the menu? Okay, so the menu doesn't pass the enemies. Even not in offline modus. Oh fuck, I meant to use my... Um, it's a big explosion. So many parts. It's always nice to get those gems, but I don't know what the use of it is. Not yet, not at, at least. Looks like I'm going to have to do something over here. There's a button. that one. Looks very nice. Oh, it didn't knock the lamp. What the hell? Too easy, too easy. Oh, nice. Bow upgrades. Very cool that heavy attack it does, where it swings my axe around. I like that. Points. Ooh, attack boosts. There's nothing over here. Better make use of that attack boost while I have it. Even though those guys are one shots. Level 3 So where does this lead? I'll leave that apple for when I get out I have 255 arrows What the hell When, I'll, when am I going to use those? Ooh, is that an upgrade? Level 3. What's so special about it? Poison clouds. Sound of poison that deals enemies in the area for 3 seconds. That seems worth it. <coughs> so I'm only getting those purple thingies, so it's by leveling up. So I shouldn't use I shouldn't use them too quickly I guess. Or will there be other ways to unlock them? So where does this lead? That can always be useful. So there was a chest there. Why did it show me there's a chest? If I just ran past it, without opening it maybe. Oh, damn, that's so hard to see that one. I think it's the same as the bow I already have.
Oh. Okay. Looks pretty good. So should I, like, these weapons salvage them? What do we- 15. I'll salvage these for now, I'll keep the other two. Or if there is another use, like upgrading the ones I have maybe. So I've been in there. Ah, that was the poisonous clouds. Nice. Can be useful with multiple enemies, I guess, if it spawns. Bye, sheep. Sorry, sheep. Oh shit, man. <laughs> you flew all the way up here. It's a pretty big area up here. So, you should kill the animals even though it's pretty sad but hey you do that as well oh two clouds but you do that as well in the normal game so shouldn't feel too bad Check this little corner. So it's quite useful the arrows, but I wonder if there's a max. I have like 300 right now, which I will never use. Just like my abilities, I never use them. I just have them. It's not that useful. Oh, so there are secret chests. So you really have to, you can always only see the secret chests if you are, I think, near them and, and have your mouse on them. They glow up. Seal nearby enemies. So oh, damn. That looks cool. It's also quite high. Being hit by damage inflicting projectiles or occasionally craft. Could be useful. While your heart full deal increased range then. Hmm, I think I'll get that one. No extra chest, I think. Not as far as I could see, at least. So, like, it's pointing me towards this area. Oh no, I forgot there was another area down below. Wait, this isn't right. Oh, it is right. I should like run faster if I keep like my mouse further away. Got him. <laughs> 
didn't think I could fall off. Is there anything this way? Pretty big area. Maybe here, like a hidden chest? Nope. Oh, I do take fall damage. Only a little bit. Now I'm not full health anymore. You'd guess there's a chest right here. takes like quite a while to regenerate that firework arrow I, I want to use it more but there are like almost no enemies so swiftness right now I'm full health again so I think this is scary like the swiftness because it's easier to pass things when you're moving this quickly oh damn Good use of the bow right there. So these spiders can like stuck you. Which can be dangerous. If they do it like in the wrong place. At the wrong time. Quite useless for the poison cloud to spawn like on a m on an animal, but I'll take it. I would risk it, I have like 428 arrows. Not that I would die, but might as well. Don't you get like a disease from eating raw meat? Now and then check for chests. Because apparently they can be invisible. What is this little island? Strength potion. Also my arrows I think. I'm not sure though. This looks like some enemies would spawn here. I 
are those sounds? It sounds like boo for Mario. Some more arrows because I definitely needed those. Damn, it didn't look like I could open those. Alright, let's continue. That gap mushroom. So look, they, they advised me to use like the bow, so. Might as well. Pretty big cave though. Nothing in this corner. Coins. Look at that the guy already charging at me. Isn't that the second one I... Or is this like a next mission thing? Or next objective? Looking forward to the moment it's gonna get a little bit harder because this this is really easy. Maybe there are more of them I can press? <coughs> Supplies... Oh, I thought that was like an edible. Seeing anything here to stand on. Also, no hidden chests. Corner, didn't I? Was it? No, it was back there. Ah, coins. Didn't see those. So there's no other button to press. So, what was the point of that? Oh, 
routes. I'm going to have like a quick look. Just if nothing happens. Don't think anything did happen. Let's just go on. What was that noise? Shadow form. Can't really see what that does. Oh, they don't see me. Quite useless that one. Here is something. Also, maybe here. Nope, nothing I can do. Ah, a secret chest. Oh, damn, that axe. It's level 6. It's an upgrade. Oh, this bow. What the hell? Didn't notice this one. What does this do? Eaten by daring warriors before battle, the dead cat mushroom into a frenzy. Great increase attack speed and moving. Okay. Once again, I haven't been using my abilities because I just forget about them. And I don't really need them at the moment. already quite easy but now I've like upgraded gear and buy quite a lot so it will be even easier Just arrows in me. I'm like a hedgehog, or oh, that's what's that animal called? Like in the game, which are in caves, it's like a almost a little rat with like spikes on his body. So, wait, have I been in that? Yeah, I've been there. Alright, I think this is the end. Yep. These villagers are free from the clasp of the illagers. Nice. All thanks to you. You're welcome, you're welcome. So, each mission you get like a chest. You hear this in town, I guess you... What does that even mean? Summon a wolf. Oh, nice. Right, I'm going to. 
to get rid of that rod. It's not that useful, I'd say. Okay, this should be a decent combination for now. Where, where the hell? Okay. Make trades. Oh, so is there, is there no other use? It is a nice weapon, but it's not as good as the weapon I had. Check it out. It does have a big reach, but the level is quite low compared to my axe. So... Is this the only thing he can do? Well, it's not really great, is it? It said it's a great weapon. Don't need this level 1 stuff. Thanks for the glaive, but you can have it back. I might keep this. Just to have it. Although I'm not going to use it, so Alright guys, I think I'm going to end this episode right here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next episode. Please leave a like and subscribe. I'm liking this game so far, it's quite colorful and there's a lot more to explore. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. I hope to see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, subscribe. Until the next episode.